Okay, hello, Dominic here. Just have been recording a video without sound, and uh, so I guess I'll have to start again. In previous videos, I talked about the sorry about that the curve clone tools, the Bezier clone and uh, pen cl uh, pen clone tool, and I came across curve transform, Bezier transform, and transform pen, and I had no clue what these were about. Uh, didn't find anything about it in the manual, but on Loxology's forum I did find something about transform array, and by reading that post I thought it would probably also apply to the curve transform, the Bezier transform and the transform pin, and it does, so I'm going to show you over here. So, as you can see in my scene I have a number of items, they're all separate items, as you can see in the item list. And to use the curve transform, first I have to select a number of items. I don't have to select them all, I just have to select the items I want to use for the curve transform. And in this example I'm going to select them all. I'm going to the duplicate tab, right click over here and choose curve transform click and now click in the viewport to start drawing a curve. Just like the curve extrudes, you'll be drawing a curve. And as you can see, the items that were originally here are being transformed, that's why it's called transform curve, of curve transform. They are being transformed to that curve. And as with the curve extrude, I have several options. I can set it to automatic and I can adjust my smoothing angle over here or leave it at manual and then can I set the number of steps. When I decrease the number of steps, you will see over here I have 10 items in my scene. So when I set it to 8, then 2 items are not being transformed. When I set it all the way to 2, and you see only two items are being transformed. When I set it to, in, for instance, 16, now you see all items being transformed, but my curve is longer, so it will not be distri distributed all the way along the curve, even if I check by length. So if I have 10 items and I set it to 10 steps, then the curve is being filled with all the selected items. And as with the, the curve extrude tool settings, the rest of the settings are pretty much the same. Align the path, align to normal, start at source, my mode, add, edit, delete. I can interactively place my points or set them over here. I can give them a bank angle. So you see some... this is the selected point. When I give it a bank angle, it banks the curve over there and the I you see the items being rotated. I can set it to a closed loop. If it isn't closed, I can give it a start control. I can give it an end control like that. I can set by length or not. If it's set by length, then the items will be distributed uniformly along the curve. If it's unchecked, then the nuts determine where the placement is going to be. As you see here they are close to one another, here not, but when I check by length then they are uniformly distributed. I can check create polygon. This creates an extra curve poly, an extra curve in other words, that I can use for animation, but as you can see it is not being drawn at where I drew my curve. So. I think I will have to submit a bug report, but because I normally I think that curve should be at the same place where I drew my curve, and it has nothing to do with um, start at source or not. As you can see, um, it does not draw my curve where. Oh, okay. <laughs> this seem to seems to fix it. So by interactively dragging one of the points. Now you see that the curve has shifted to the place where it should be. So create polygon of no extra curve. We create polygon, an extra curve polygon is created, but 
it is being shifted when I click and drag one of the points then it shifts to still think it's a bug so I will report it so that's the curve transform tool so when you have several items you can select some of them or all of them and with the curve transform or with a Bezier transform which which will give you the Bezier curve or with the transform pen you can transform those items in other words reallocate them to the placement of the curve and I think this will be useful if you wanted to animate items like that through a curve so I'm going to drop the tool and control Z to undo going to do it one more time with the pin transform pin to show you that it's exactly every click will place an item I have only 10 items so my 11th click will not get anything but uh, as you can see I'm going I'm control Z right now or I could uh, do this with delete uh, sorry about that no I don't seem seem to have a delete over here so I cannot delete nuts anyway you get the idea I think uh, transform tools over here items being transformed along the curve, along a Bezier curve or with the transform click like this. Hope you find it useful and bye for now. This was Dominic.